Conspiracy theorists are financially driven. For them, manipulating facts and contradicting decisions made by governments is not hard. These whack jobs only want views and hits so they can make money. You shouldn't pay attention to them. So first I said, uh, conspiracy theorists are financially driven. So that means you are motivated by money. So driven by money. So if you're financially driven, you want to make more money. And I said for them, manipulating the facts and contradicting the decisions made by governments. So to manipulate a fact means you've taken something that's true and you've kind of twisted it and changed it a little bit. So for example, a conspiracy theorist might say that 5G towers cause coronavirus, and they can use facts that they've said that in countries with 5G, you'll get the coronavirus. But it's not necessarily true because there are poor countries with no 5G and they still have the coronavirus. But what they're doing is they're just kind of changing the facts of what's happening. And then also contradicting decisions made by government. When you contradict someone, that means you say the opposite of what someone is saying. And I said, these whack jobs only want views and hits. So whack job is a person, it's a, it's a slang expression we use kind of for a crazy person who means to do harm. So Adolf Hitler was a whack job, but also let's say you have a doctor and this doctor says that if you eat ginseng, you won't get the coronavirus. That's kind of a whack job statement. So you, it's, it's not necessarily true at all, but if you kind of claim something that's not real and it might cause harm, that person is a whack job. And I said they only want views and hits. So if you're on YouTube, uh, the more views you have, the more money you get. So if uh, so someone says they want more views, that means they want more views of their video online. And hits, hits are how many people will go to your website. So if you post something or blog something and a thousand people saw it, that means you got a thousand hits. Money, not truth, is the main motivator in the conspiracy community. Conspiracy theorists are not concerned about being right. Their goal is to promote and enrich themselves. You should be suspicious of their claims and not wear your tinfoil hat. So first I said, money, not truth, is the main motivator. So if something is a motivator, it's something that gets you to do something. So if you're motivated by money, that is your main motivator. And I said their goal is to promote and enrich themselves. So to enrich something is to give something money or wealth or value. Um, so for example, if you go to college, you might enrich your brain with knowledge. But if these conspiracy theories, they just want to enrich themselves, that makes, makes more money for them personally. And then finally, I said, you should not wear your tin foil hat. Uh, a tin foil hat is an expression we use um, with, imagine you took aluminum foil and put it around your head. Um, it was a theory that if you think the government or aliens are trying to get into your brain, you would wear a tinfoil hat and that would prevent them from entering your mind. But people we, we call who are wearing a tinfoil hat, it means they believe in conspiracies or they're conspiracy theorists. So if someone is talking about a crazy conspiracy, you can say, uh, take off your tinfoil hat or would you like to wear a tinfoil hat? It kind of is a way to describe someone who's a big believer in the conspiracy community. A lot of things in this world are cloaked in secrecy. Big government has a proven track record of lying to the people. You should not be blue-pilled and question what the government does. All right, so I said a lot of things in this world are cloaked in secrecy. So a cloak is like a, a blanket or kind of a cape that you would wear. But to cloak something in secret means to cover up some the truth. So if the government is cloaked in secrecy, they're not telling the people everything. So I said, big government has a proven track record of lying to the people. So when we talk about big government, we talk about large government organizations, uh, like such as the military or different departments. And when we think about how like government can get involved in our lives and change it, we call that big government. And then they have a proven track record. So if someone has a proven track record, it means they've done something in the past and you it's been recorded. So for example, if the government says, you know, that they want to uh, change a certain type of policy or initiate a certain type of tax, but use that tax for a different purpose and the people find out, that's a track record of lying.
And then I finally said, you should not be blue pilled and question what the government does. So nowadays in slang, uh, when we talk about uh, blue pill, red pill, and black pill, it refers to the, the movie, The Matrix. So when Neo is given the choice to know the truth, which is the red pill, or he takes the blue pill and he stays in the matrix and kind of stays happy and unaware of the truth. He was given two options. But now being blue pilled or taking the blue pill means that you believe everything the government says. You watch mainstream media, especially network TV, and you believe everything. But taking the red pill means, or being red pilled means you're questioning the government. You think the government is lying. You look for alternate news sources. And finally, we use the word black pill. Black pilled is for people who see the world and in a very negative way. They think things are unfair. Uh, they don't think that anything good is ever going to happen to them. There's no equality. So those people have been black pilled. The people should distrust the government. Time and time again, governments have lied to the public. The people have the right to dissect what the government does and express their opinions. Conspiracy theorists bring light to the situation. So I said, time and time again, governments have lied. So if you want to emphasize something uh, that someone or something has done, we say like time and time again, they have lied or time and time again, you are late for work. That means it's happened many times. The people have the right to dissect what the government does. So I said dissect. So usually when we dissect, what means when you cut open an animal or frog and take a look at the inside of it. But it also means if you take a subject or something that's going on and you look at it in very, very small details and you pick out all the pieces of information, you are dissecting it. So it's a kind of a detailed investigation. And finally, I said, conspiracy theorists bring light to the situation. So to bring light to a situation means you see something and it's not very clear and people are hiding stuff or they're lying. So you want to bring light to it. That means you want to expose it and make it more transparent. Thanks, guys. Thanks for downloading. You can reach out to me at F-E-U-R-E-Y at gmail.com. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.